A great EPK is one of the most powerful tools for upcoming artists. Whether you're a new act emailing promoters to book shows, or even if you're an established act, a bigger act, a bigger band, looking to land great opportunities. If you want more live shows, more gigs, get a good EPK. But what exactly is an EPK? We'll get into that in a second. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the Ditto Music YouTube channel. I'm gonna need you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Remember to leave any comments or questions down below, and we'll be in the comments answering as many as we can. So get involved. Okay, let's do this. So first of all, EPK stands for Electronic Press Kit. And it's basically a document to showcase you and your music. I mean, if you're doing a typical nine to five, it's like a CV. I mean, you can create it using the most basic tools, but you can also use things like Google Docs, or you could design it in something like Adobe InDesign for a more professional look. You can then export it as a PDF and host it on your website or potentially your artist page. What you could also do is utilize Google Drive or Dropbox or if anything, you could just attach it to your emails as you send them out. But what should you include in it? Well, it should have clear links to your tracks, videos, your socials, and your website. So the aim is for it to act as a central point for you to introduce your music and to let people know exactly about who you are and what you do. The most important thing to think about when you're creating an EPK, an electronic press kit, is how it might look from the other side of the fence. How will it be received and perceived? Put yourself in the position of the promoter, the brand, the venue, the publication, the radio producer, the agent, the DJ, whoever's going to see it, put yourself in their shoes so you can try and understand what they may want and if you're putting the right information into your EPK. And then really ask yourself, what information would you want to see in these scenarios? Okay, so we know what it is, but where do you start exactly? First of all, so important, make sure there are clear links to your music in your EPK. Whether your tracks are on Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, wherever it might be, make sure they are clearly listed and accessible within your EPK. Realistically, the more options you have, the better. The more easy the accessibility is, the easier for the person that will be receiving them. You'll never really know what people's preferred ways of listening to music are, so just allow that accessibility. One great way to share all your music links at once is to use a Ditto Smart Link. Ditto Smart Links are free, and they actually come with all the music that you release. So every time you drop new music, you'll have all your links in one place for you to share one time. And that way, anyone who's receiving it, taking it in, they have the choice of their preferred service. When you're ready, get down below in the description and check out the link all about Smart Links to get a little bit more information on how you can utilize them for releases and for any use around your EPKs. Anyway, so promoters and agents before anyone else realistically are gonna wanna know what you sound like. So if you're an original act, you're gonna wanna prioritize your newest single. But in some cases, you may have a fan favorite, one that you know that works, most people like this song, then potentially maybe you prioritize that one just to get the attention of the promoter or the agent or whoever you're sending the EPK to. So like I said, you might not know where people are gonna listen from and it's very important to understand and know that not everyone pays for an Apple Music service or a Spotify service. So if you can provide a link that allows no issue, no problems, that they don't have to sign up or nothing like that, that might be the best bet Again, because not everyone will utilize a paid service. And it just all comes back to making it as easy as possible for whoever's receiving it. Another important part of your EPK is to provide high resolution photography. Professional pictures of your act, your band, your group, your duo, are so important for any EPK. Promoters typically will utilize these photos for any online flyers or gig posters or any promo material. And an agent might use some of these photos to actually sell you as an artist or a brand on their roster page. So make sure it's something that represents you in its full entirety. And actually, maybe more importantly, it'll give off a better sense in general of your vibe and also your aesthetic. So when coming up with a photo shoot idea, make sure it will attach to who you are as a brand, as an artist and how you want to be perceived. So even though there's like classic themes that will always work, like if you're a rock band and you're looking hella moody and it's like dark and gray, that might work. If you're a rapper and you look very like, you know, that kind of vibe. But overall, you'll find out it's better to come with something more unique, distinctive, and really make it marry and match to who you are as an artist. Obviously, hiring a professional photographer will definitely make this shoot a lot easier for you. 
but nothing's wrong with utilizing your high quality camera on your smartphone and really utilizing lights, angles, and finding a good background, a good space to take some photos. For example, with the iPhone and many other Android phones, there's portrait mode, so you can really get a focus on your face and blur out the background, and really just experiment, take loads of photos, and choose the best ones, and utilize them in your EPK. As well as the professional photos of you and or your band, it's so important to include other branding, so like logos, and when you include your logos, allow them to be PNG files, files that don't have a background, so they can utilize this logo on different gig posters, flyers, and it won't just be a square blotch. So moving on swiftly, next is all about the website and social media. So the EPK offers information about you, but your website should offer additional information about you, more content for people to look into, to watch, to read, to see, merch to buy, just a real full idea of who you are, what you've done from start or present. You should be able to see more music there, up and coming shows, more videos, and all that good stuff. It gives the artist a lot more credibility, so make sure your website is set, sorted, and in your EPK. Any social media account should be included too, but it's actually more important to include the ones that are updated all the time, so make sure the ones that you do utilize are updated and included. A lot of the time, promoters and agents love to keep track of what you're doing on socials to see if they're ready to book you maybe in a month or two, if you've been active, you're doing things, you're doing shows, so at least they know that when they book you, they're gonna get a good version or if not the best version of you at that time. They wanna see how hard working you are, how busy you are, but most importantly, how relevant you are. So stay active on your social medias and don't spread yourself thin Work on the ones that you work on. If you're a Twitter and a Facebook guy, then be there. If you are a Insta and a Snapchat girl, be there. If you are a person that just loves to be on YouTube, be there. But the important thing is be active and include the ones that you utilize within your EPK. While having a lot of Instagram followers or YouTube subs may look impressive, the most important thing to have on social media, more than anything, is to have an audience that actually engages with you. Because in this show, there's more people that are more likely to turn up to a show that you're putting on. So I'm begging everyone, please do not buy any fake likes or views or comments. Overall, it'll just end up damaging your account. But more than anything, people are a lot more smart now. They can see that if you've got 10,000 likes and two comments, something's wrong. And it may go amiss, but look at it like this. If a promoter books you and in their minds have done a bit of research and they can see that you've got 100,000 followers, but when they book you for a certain slot, all the people in the crowd start walking away because they have no clue who you are. It's not gonna look good on you and most likely you'll never get booked again by that venue, that promoter, that festival. So definitely build your way up authentically and really keep getting your crowds and your audiences to be behind you and make sure what you include in your EPK is a polished version but definitely the truth. Realistically, a good following but great engagement can definitely boost your chance of getting booked by a promoter. And this part of the EPK is absolutely vital Pun definitely intended, is the biography. Your biography overall should sum up you and your sound. It should list your musical acts achievements and amazing venues, notable venues that you performed at. Talk about bands or artists you've worked with or performed with, also any endorsement deals or brand deals. And also while giving away general information about people within your group who you've worked with and anyone who's a part of your team. And the same way they do in movies when they are promoting a movie, you'll see a blurb or maybe two lines from a notable publication talking about how great this movie is. If you can find publications on yourself that people have said from notable backgrounds, spaces and platforms, definitely include that in your EPK. And one thing, and I'm not gonna lie, even I mess up with this, make sure you check your spelling and grammar because you know when you're writing things, you know what you mean, but if you don't go over that a few times, you're gonna miss out certain things that you've included in there that should have been there or small spelling mistakes. Because if you are someone viewing your EPK for the first time and you see an, a spelling mistake, it kind of lets you know this person's a bit sloppy. They couldn't even care enough to make sure this document was perfect. There's a link down below to blogs and artist biographies, a template down below that you guys can check out. So make sure you do that after this video. Now, like I just mentioned, press quotes and testimonials can really turn a good EPK into a great EPK. This kind of content is top tier for your act and more so will really allow them to be perceived on such a great level. If you have any favorite reviews, make sure you include a 
at least one or two, if not the best five within your EPK. Just a few lines showing exactly how much people love, appreciate your music, your sound, your act. And make sure you link it to the source of that quote. And I mean, any testimonials from anyone in the industry that is of a higher hierarchy or level than you are currently would look good on your band. I mean, if you're in any kind of act where you've worked with different bands or you've worked with different artists, Getting quotes from these artists, these band members, is also something I will add to the level of quality of your EPK. I mean, something as simple as they had an epic show and are definitely ones to watch for next year. Things of that nature will really bring it together if there's different variations of quotes just like that from notable people showing how great you are as a musician or how great your band is. Including quotes like that is something called social proof. And it's a psychological principle that really allows people to think if someone else likes it and is giving it a chance, I'll give it a chance. And I mean, that makes perfect sense. And another area that we mentioned earlier on is about including videos. This is so important, especially if you're trying to book live shows. It'd be a great way for all acts to get more shows, especially if you're just starting out. So if you have high quality footage of you playing live, performing live, in front of an audience, showcasing your skills, it's definitely gonna help you to get booked by promoters. It could even be an edited video of a show reel of clips of you and your act performing. Uh, and within that, you've got little conversational pieces talking about where you guys started, where you plan to see it go, notable things that you've done in the industry already, and just really sell yourself and build yourself in a package. And if you're an original actor, music video is great, but a performing video would always be better. Because at the end of the day, they're not booking you to showcase a video. They're booking you so you can perform at their show, their festival, wherever it might be. So overall, we're thinking links to YouTube will be ideal. And if there is interaction on it, so likes, comments, and people really talking good about it down below in those comments, then all that can do is benefit you and influence the promoter's decisions. And one of the most important things really is your contact details. Don't forget get your contact details. While it's definitely important to include up-to-date details about agents, band members, and anyone involved around the group or the act, it's also so important to make sure you have a preferred point of contact, someone that can always be reached and always be able to connect and reach out to the rest of the band. So many people miss great opportunities because an email was incorrectly put or because there's a typo, maybe a contact number has too many numbers in there. Sometimes it's even an old number or the person takes weeks to reply if all they leave is their social media contact details. So be attentive and make sure you have your contact details there ready to go and it's so important have that preferred point of contact as well. And try to get back to people quickly. Even if you don't have anything to say right now, let them know that you've received the email, the text, the call, and you'll get back to them. It's hard to build a good relationship if you kind of leave people just wondering what's happening. So once you've completed your EPK, you've got to make it available. So utilizing Dropbox or Google Drive or OneDrive, anything like that, you'll be able to share that link to anywhere you want and change it, update it. And obviously you can also just attach it to your website and share your website. I mentioned this, accessibility and ease of use will be your best friends when it comes to sharing your EPK. So do not make it difficult for people to gain access. It's also important important to have a generic one and then also have some versions that focus more specifically on getting attention of agents or attention of promoters for shows. That way it's more catered for them. They're more likely to see the information they need and not have to pass any information that doesn't relate to them. The importance of an electronic press kit and EPK can literally make or break your career. So keep it updated, spend time on it, and make sure you have all the information on there that needs to be inside. For example, I've got my own electronic press kit that I've made myself, but I've also paid someone to make one for me. And after doing that, I realized how much things I missed, the format, the ways in which I did that could have been a lot better. And from there, I've been updating the one that I've paid for to keep it updated with all the things that I'm doing, but more than anything, just to make sure I am attracting the right people for the right space I am in my career. Listen, I'm hoping this was useful, but what I'm gonna need you to do is get down in the comments, let me know your thoughts, any questions, any comments, and let me know if I've missed anything. If there's anything important about your EPK that you've got that I haven't mentioned, let us know down below in the comments for the Ditto community. So from me, Vital, and the rest of the Ditto Music team, I wanna say thank you, more love. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Get down in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.